We're down in the basement and we're assessing the heating system of this home. We've got a forced air system and we've got air conditioning and heating. I'm noticing that the furnace is high efficiency. So that's great. We don't need to do any upgrades around efficiency for the furnace. But one of the things that we are gonna do is we're gonna check to see how the system is functioning and we're gonna test the static pressure of that system and we're gonna actually measure the airflow and see if we have the right amount of airflow to do our heating and our cooling loads in this house. We're gonna be using the digital true flow to do that and I've got everything set up here. Uh, we're gonna start by taking a static pressure measurement uh, on the return side. The app's gonna then prompt us to then move the location. So we're gonna move now from the return side of the filter to the furnace side of the filter, right here. And again, we'll take our measurement. We're then gonna move to the position above the furnace, but below the evaporative coil, right there, and take that measurement. And then lastly, we'll get a measurement on the supply side of the evaporative coil and take that measurement. Once this is complete, now we're prompted to remove the existing filter. So I'm gonna shut the system off, remove the filter cap, take out the existing filter, and slide in the digital true flow plate. Filter rack on here. Now I'm gonna turn the system back on and wait for the fan to turn back on. And you'll see we're starting to get a measurement there. Once I see that stabilize, we're then ready to take our measurement. And we'll save that report. And the results come up right away. And a couple things jump out at me. We've got an airflow of 459 CFM per ton. Uh, so we're a little bit above the optimal range for total airflow. We have a high or kind of marginally high external static pressure at 0.935. Our filter drop pressure is in the red here. So this is really high. This is something that we'll, we'll take a look at. Our evaporator coil looks really good. It's in the green. So we don't see any problems with the pressure drop there. And then for our supply pressure, it looks good. Kind of on the edge there, but in the green. And our return pressure is actually kind of in the yellow. So these are the results from the furnace in its existing setup. So what we're gonna do next is actually adjust the fan speed and redo the test. Our airflow is now in the green at 411 CFM per ton. Uh, our total external static pressure dropped and is now in the green. We still have a high filter pressure drop. Uh, our evaporative coil is still in the green. Our supply got a little bit better and our return pressure actually got quite a bit better. So just by slowing down that fan speed, what we've done is reduce some of the static pressures in the system. And by slowing down some of the air, we're gonna get better evaporative cooling in the summertime with this system. So just with a simple change in fan speed, we were able to make a difference uh, with comfort for this homeowner. Okay, so this was just a basic overview of how to use a digital true flow with the DG8 gauge. We have many more videos on our website which go through how to use this in detail and how to use it with the TrueFlow app.